Hi, my name is Susanna, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the new cheese spinning curl. So I absolutely love this tool because it's really easy to use, and it basically just does all the work for you. So you're just going to start out by taking a one-inch section of hair, and you're going to place it in between the two small barrels on the inside. And then you're going to hold the spin button until all of your hair is inside, then let go. And you're just going to hold it in place, and it'll beep when it's time for you to let go of your hair, and then you just pull your hair out. So when you're using this tool, you actually have several different options for temperature. It goes all the way up to 410 degrees, but I am using mine right now at 350 degrees. And then you also have options for how long you want the tool to hold your hair in for the curl. So you're gonna press the M button, and you can go all the way up from 15 to 19, but I'm gonna keep mine down at 15. Then you press the M button again, and it'll show the temperature and you'll press the power button to lock it into place. Another really great thing about this tool is that you can actually take your hair out earlier than the 15 second mark. So if you want a looser curl, you can, you have the option to take it out whenever you want. So you don't have to be worried about your hair getting stuck in there and it not releasing your hair. So while using this tool, you can do kind of a beachy wavy look if you want to make all of your curls alternate in directions. But today, I'm just gonna make all of mine go away from my face. So there's actually two separate buttons that will curl in each direction. So this spinning curl is a little bit different from a traditional curling iron because when you're using a traditional curling iron, you're gonna start at the ends and roll up, but this is actually gonna distribute the heat evenly throughout the whole entire piece of hair. So it's not gonna be destroying the ends of your hair. The outside of this tool actually doesn't get hot anywhere. I can grab it and hold it and it's just gonna be a little bit warm. So you don't have to worry about burning your scalp or your hands while curling your hair. So I really like this tool because it has a tangle-free feature on it. So watch what happens when I take a very large and messy section of my hair and try to curl it inside the tool. It immediately starts beeping and you can release your hair. And then you're just gonna hold down the power button to get it to stop beeping. I really like that feature because it just makes me feel a lot safer about the fact that I'm not gonna get my hair stuck in there and it's not gonna get tangled and I'm not gonna be worried that it's gonna like pull out all of my hair. So you can see that that open chamber will really allow you to easily release your hair. So once you've turned off your tool and it's cooled down, you can go ahead and clean it. So it's really easy to do. You're just gonna take the cleaning tool that comes with it and you're gonna put it inside on the side that says towards your head. And then you're going to turn the tool on and it detects that it's in cleaning mode. And you just press one of the arrows and it basically does all the work for you. So now it has cleaned the inside of it and any hairspray and residue is off of it. And you can just wipe down the outside and you're done. So this is how I create this beachy wavy look with my Chi Air Spinning Curl. I hope you guys found this video helpful and thank you for watching.